Hi, um, I'm Yuki Ocho. I'm from Japan. And although I spent a decent amount of time at uh, Beijing, China as well. And I did my PhD at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, uh, majoring in material science and engineering. As a postdoc, I'm working on designing new battery chemistries um, that beyond conventional lithium ion batteries using nanomaterials and nanotechnology approaches. And then my position is quite unique that I have a 50 50 affiliation toward uh, Slack National Accelerator Laboratory, where I work with uh, Dr. Jackson Nanda for the battery side. And uh, also on the Stanford campus, I work at the chemical engineering department with Professor Stacy Bent, who are using this uh, uh, nanoscale coding technology. I work on materials of a device, just happen to be called battery. So you can imagine I'm more or less working on the fundamental and then bottom up approaches to the question of, for example, like climate changes. Whereas we have uh, some of the fellows that, um, who look at the, the same question from completely different lens and um, they can have a uh, capability of running mathematical models or a uh, large scale simulation of um, understanding the electricity pricing or distribution, how that will imp up, um, impact to the efficiency of how we efficiently use the energy. We could really apply that top-down approach as well to the material discovery and exploration and give us some of constraint and boundary, explore, uh, boundary condition to focus on something that we think more excited about. We have diverse background of fellows with distinct expertise. And I'm fortunate to be exposed to um, a lot of motivated and knowledgeable peers who more or less have quite similar long-term goals in energy field. And we have this monthly program called uh, Lab Crow, where we go to one of our fellows lab or office to uh, listen to their recent progress, what they are excited about and uh, what's their short term and long term challenge in their thinking or they're trying to solve. And um, it really helps me to learn a little bit more field that I'm not familiar with and also hearing different voice and opinion about the challenge I'm facing. And a lot of the great idea actually came from completely informal discussion. When I was entering college, I was naive enough to believe if I could make breakthrough in renewable energy technology, I could solve a lot of problems in the world. Now I'm being a little bit more realistic, but I still believe a sustainable, affordable and scalable energy solution could um, really help us to have a lot of the problems more manageable currently. And I'm committed to uh, advancing material science and engineering for clean energy transition and addressing some of the associated questions both spatially and temporally.